Hello friends, this is Sam Cheney reporting for WeaponizedNews.com. Today is July 3rd, 2017, and North Korea has launched another ballistic missile, increasing tensions on the Korean Peninsula, this time aimed at Japan. Tensions could escalate to a possible World War III scenario. Bad for everybody. Let's look at the headlines, break this down, and get President Trump's response to this latest provocation by North Korea. North Korea fires ballistic missile as North Asia tensions rise. Japan says projectile may have fallen into nation's EEZ. And what is the EEZ? The EEZ is the exclusive economic zone. North Korea launches missile nearing Japanese waters. The Japanese Defense Ministry said it landed near their exclusive economic zone. Mess with Japan's economy. That's probably going to start a war. North Korean ballistic missile flew about 930 kilometers, according to the South Korean military who were tracking it. And that's equivalent to 578 miles. The headline there. Lofted North Korean missile flies for 40 minutes, lands in south of in the South Sea of Japan. Again, in their exclusive economic zone, the EEZ. And so what does that mean for us here in the United States? I mean, if they, if North Korea, if North Korea hits Japan, South Korea, any U.S. allies is going to start a war and the U.S. is going to be involved and very likely will kick off World War III, possibly with China, possibly with Russia, possibly with both. So the missile went about 600 miles. How far? Would a missile have to travel from Pyongyang to reach the rest of the world? Closest U.S. naval base is in Guam. It'd have to travel 2,114 miles. It hit Hawaii. It would have to travel 4,727 miles. It hit mainland Europe, London, approximately 8,657 miles. To hit San Francisco, 5,000. 588 miles to hit Los Angeles, 5,935 miles, excuse me. And to hit Washington, D.C., it would have to travel 6,857 miles. And this is President Trump's response. North Korea just launched another missile. Does this guy have anything better to do with his life? Hard to believe that South Korea and Japan will put up with this for much longer. Perhaps China will put a heavy move on North Korea and end this nonsense once and for all. Well, let's certainly hope so. Then we have this headline. Trump calls China, Japan leaders to discuss North Korea, gets a warning from Beijing instead. And of course, this is all ahead of next week's G20 meeting. Well, I'm sure one of the items of discussion is going to be North Korea and their out-of-control behavior with their ballistic missile testing. Let's go now to propaganda from North Korea. What are they saying? North Korea celebrated the Day of Strategic Forces of the Korean People's Army, the KPA, with a statement in its state-run newspaper that the country's rockets may strike anywhere in the world. The paper reminded about recent successful launches of ballistic missiles as well as cruise missiles. The situation on the Korean Peninsula has become aggravated in recent months due to a series of missile launches and nuclear tests conducted by the North Korean government, all of which are claimed to be in violation of UN Security Council resolutions. 
So the continually belligerent North Korean government and their dictator, Kim Jong-un, are launching missiles at will and threatening to hit anywhere in the world. Action may be taken by Japan and South Korea. Let's hope that China can get their bulldog to the south on a leash and reel them back in before this kicks off a regional war and possibly even a world war. Let's pray for peace. Hope that cooler heads will prevail. Do your own research. Subscribe to this channel. Speak out and take action.